What's up, everybody? Don't be looking at me. My wife's looking at me crazy. I'm cooking dinner. So we're gonna have deer meat, potatoes for dinner. I'm gonna show you a short, quick video of how we're gonna cook this up. Oh yeah. Why yeah. So we throw our potatoes in a pot. I'm gonna use a little bit of canola oil. We're going to cook those down until they turn brown and crispy. So we're going to keep on cooking. It takes about 10 minutes to cook these down. It may take a little longer since I've got a little bit more potato in there than I expected to have. I only did two whole potatoes, as you can see in the picture. Or the video, whatever you want to call it. I was going to take that out, but this is YouTube. We do what we want. So we're going to cook those down where they get good and brown. Once we do that, we're going to throw our onion. I only did like a handful of onion chopped up. The family doesn't like a lot, so we're just going to do that just for flavor. And we have our deer meat. It's in pork sausage bags, but it's deer meat with bacon mixed in it. Ground up, double ground, fine. And we're going to put that in this pan once these cook down a little bit. So stick around and I'll show you once we put everything else together. So now, I'm going to use a little bit of onion powder. About a tablespoon and about a tablespoon of garlic powder. <clears throat> And let me weigh this. I don't know exactly how much meat this is. So that's, uh, let's see. <clears throat> that's a pound. So, Right at two pounds. Of ground venison. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go break that up. But at the same time, we're gonna try to keep from messing our potatoes up. We don't wanna mash them. If we can help it. Try to get the meat to the bottom. 
Let it start cooking in. I'm going to do a little bit more garlic powder on the meat. A little bit of salt. Just a touch of pepper. I'm going to keep stirring this. Get that meat browned up. Another piece up here. Let's This is the first time I've ever made this, so I figured I'd make a video. If I fail, I don't have to post it, but I'm also wasting meat. I don't think it's going to fail, though. I think we're going to be all right. If we just keep it stirred up, we'll be all right. I'll show y'all what it looks like from the top. So that's meat, potatoes, and a little bit of onion. Ground deer is um, a lot more lean. There's no fat in it whatsoever if you've never cooked with it. Um, so this is a rear hind quarter, leg quarter from a deer from this past season. And I think we made four pounds of ground beef to one pack of hickory applewood smoked bacon i think it's applewood smoked bacon but it may have been hickory but we ground it into the meat and then run it back through the grinder again to get it good mixed in so it's got fat content in it and it it smells so good like i said i don't think we'll have a problem i don't know if the kids are going to like it but it should be all right you just got to keep it mixed up, keep that meat on the bottom, keep it browning. But it's starting to mix really well. I'm going to add a little bit of water. We don't want to add a lot, but just enough. I'm gonna grab a lid and cover it. That might speed up the process. As y'all know from all my other videos, I am not a chef. Not one bit, but I can cook. I'm cooking meat and potatoes, so we'll see how it turns out.
like I said, we um, need something for dinner tonight. They're calling for tornadoes. So, it's Sunday. Yeah, today's Sunday. April something, like the 10th, I think. Today's the 11th, let me look. No, today's the 12th, according to that calendar. April, maybe, I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't matter what day it is, but I like to reference it in my videos so that y'all know when I recorded it. It may take two or three days to get it out. It may take two weeks. Who knows? So, I just posted some videos on the raised bed garden today. But that was actually completed about two weeks ago. Well, not really two weeks ago. The regular raised beds were done about a week ago. And the other bed got finished last weekend, I believe. I don't remember. But anyways, I'm just rambling. So, I'm going to keep on cooking this down real quick. I'm going to stir it up some more and let y'all watch. So the whole time I've been talking, that cover's been on. I guess it's been like two minutes. That water's boiling in there now. So let me mix it up real quick. I like to shake my lid into the pan. It gets all over the stove. Um, browning nicely. I don't know if you can see that. But it looks good. I always cook way too much. This is way more of the food than what we actually need for the night. So we'll probably end up putting some of it up. Eat it for lunch tomorrow. Maybe even dinner tomorrow, or now that it's cooked, we may put it in a bowl and freeze it. Then we can pull it out in a couple weeks and have a meal ready for us to go already. We'll just see. Anyways, this is super quick to throw together. The cook time on it is gonna be about 30 minutes total. Um, prep time is about eight minutes maybe just long enough to cut up your potatoes and your onion and get them cooking <clears throat> but anyways I'll bring you back once we get this thing cooked down it's cooking pretty quick right now that cover being on there makes a big difference, holds the heat in. So, I'll bring you back in a minute. All right, there it is. It's really dry, and I'm, I'm sure it's because the meat doesn't have any kind of grease in it. But I'll mix some green beans in there. We're gonna throw it in this bowl and chow down. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you next time. So there it is. The wife and kids have refused to eat it. But what I did was I put a little bit of ketchup in it and some hot sauce to get a little bit more wet so it wasn't so dry. So if you like it, it's really good. I like it. So I'm gonna freeze it, I guess. Leave out one serving. It may not make it until then though so I'll probably end up eating more it's so good look at that the green beans the recipe I saw on another YouTube channel they put a thing of corn in it I can't eat corn so I do I went with green beans I started to throw some kidney beans in there too that'd make it really good but you can add anything you want to but I guess um the rest of the recipe, I'll put everything in the description of what I added. Because I added a couple other things that weren't on camera. But it turned out good.
for me. My family doesn't like deer meat, so the wife's making macaroni. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see y'all next time.